We're welcoming you back into Thinking in the Results. You know, when you set out on the direction of your goals, often the landscape is a bit riddled with obstacles, like barrier walls that get in our way. And one of the biggest barriers is fear. Bob likes to call it the terror barrier. It's easy to discover your terror barrier if you set a goal outside your comfort zone like Bob encourages you to do. And once you become emotionally involved with that goal and you start moving towards it, you can crash right into that terror barrier and it doesn't feel good. Here's an example. When I decided to partner with Bob Proctor to create a global organization dedicated to helping companies and their people grow and reach their goals, I hit the terror barrier hard. How could I do this and keep my full-time law practice? It's like they say, fear not. I opened the door and fear was no more. When I plowed through that terror barrier, I was able to see I could do it. Each day, something new comes up and it gives me an opportunity to hit that wall of fear and push through it. And when I do that, I grow, and my world gets better and better. Now here's Bob to help you get through the terror barrier that just might be keeping you from the results that you desire. Now, I want you to think for a moment. Why is it? So many people get excited about a goal and in the end it fizzles. Never happens. Have you ever wondered why there's a very small select group of people that really do hit the big goals and most never do? See, the truth is most people don't hit the goal at all because they set the wrong one. Now, you've got to go after the C-type goal. That's where you start off with the fantasy. You've got to go after the big one. And you've got to get the big one. Now, I'm going to tell you what will happen. You're going to come face to face, just bang like that, with what I refer to as the terror barrier. And if you bounce off that terror barrier, you're sunk. But if you gain an understanding of what's happening, you can crash right through the terror barrier. And everyone that has ever accomplished anything has all come up against the terror barrier and they've crashed right through it. Now to understand this, we've got to go back to the stick person concept. So I want you to take a look here. Here's the full graphic illustration. And bondage, reason, terror barrier, freedom. Now let's come back to bondage. What do we mean by that? Well, here's the individual, their conditioning we're going to refer to as X-type energy. So in the subconscious mind, the paradigm is referred to as X-type energy. Everybody, X is the unknown factor. Therefore, the person is in physically in an X-type vibration. Their behavior is X-type behavior and they get X-type results. Now, what kind of a thought do you think they're going to think when that power flows into their consciousness? They're going to think X-type thoughts. People that earn $50,000 a year are not thinking thoughts of a person that earns $150,000 a year. Mostly, they don't even dream about it. No, they think thoughts of a person that's earning $50,000 a year. See, X-type conditioning produces X-type thoughts. And they stay in that vibration and they keep getting the results year in, year out. Usually, right throughout their life, they're living in bondage. They are not free. They don't even understand the concept of freedom. You hear them say it, but they don't understand it. When they talk about freedom, they're just making a noise. There's no awareness that goes with it. Now, let's take this is a process that I'm talking about here that you go through in goal achieving. So, we go from bondage, we go to reason. Now, here's the same individual. X-type conditioning, X-type vibration, X-type behavior, and X-type results. Now, this individual is going to entertain a Y idea. The Y idea comes from somewhere else. Now, as long as the Y idea is just in the conscious mind, you can reason with it and nothing happens. Nothing. You've got the Y idea in your conscious
conscious mind. Now that could be, you know, sell the business. It could be go after a goal that is way out there. Now as long as the why idea is just in the conscious mind, everything's fine. You're not going to act on it because you have to turn it over to the subconscious, but we haven't done that. So here's a person, X type conditioning, X type behavior, X type result, but they are beginning to entertain the idea of doing something greater than they're doing. They aspire to do something beyond where they're at. And what's really happening is that the, the uniqueness within them is seeking expression. And that's why they have begun to think beyond where they're at. Now, this is what we call reason. And you can take anything you want, as long as you don't internalize it, nothing happens. Now, let's go to the next level. Here we've gone from bondage to reason. Now we're going to hit the terror barrier. Now, think of this for a moment. It's the X type energy and the subconscious mind that controls the vibration we're in. The vibration we're in on a conscious level is referred, referred to as feeling. Feeling is a word we invented to describe conscious awareness of the vibration we're in. Now here's a person with Y idea in the conscious mind and they start to get emotionally involved in the Y idea. When they go to get emotionally involved in the Y idea, now they're in an XY vibration. This is a chaotic vibration and instantly worry and doubt registers on the conscious mind, fear on the subconscious, and on a physical level, it's anxiety. All hell is breaking loose in this person. They go to step out and go ahead and they hit this terror barrier and they bounce right back into bondage. Now this happens with almost everyone. Person goes to buy their first house. The terror barrier hits. They go home, they're scared. They've got the money, they want to buy a house, they're scared. Person goes to quit a job and start a business. They're scared. They're scared. That's what they want to do, but they're scared. Or the person has a company and they decide they're going to take their company global. We're going to build this company all over the world. And fear strikes. What if I lose? And you see, when you get involved in the XY vibration on an emotional level, your whole being changes. You're not in the X vibration anymore. You're in the XY vibration and you hit that wall. That is called a terror barrier. Now, Thoreau said, if a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavors to live the life they've imagined, they will meet with success unexpected in common hours. You see, you just have to endeavor. You just have to give it your best shot to live the life you've imagined. How did you build that great big fantasy? How did you turn that fantasy into a theory? How did you turn the theory into a goal? You said, I'm able to do it, and you said, I'm willing. And that's when you start to get emotionally involved. He said, if you endeavor, give it everything you've got, and you can go right through that terror barrier, understand what's causing the fear. You see, it's the understanding of what's causing the fear that enables you to go through it. Understanding is really the key to freedom. Now, it doesn't eliminate the fear. It doesn't eliminate the, the, the chaotic vibration, but it enables you to go right through. Now, even when you step through that terror barrier and you're over now in the area of freedom, you still experience the fear. But it's the repetition of getting emotionally involved in the Y idea and emotionally involved in the Y idea. Eventually, the X conditioning disappears. That's when you've changed your paradigm, you've changed your conditioning, and now you're living in freedom. And then you know what you have to do? You have to start all over again. That's right. Then the why becomes the bondage. And you have to go on from there. But you're going on from there with experience. You're going on from there, you're doing something that you've done before. It doesn't eliminate the fear. I've been working on this for many, many years. And I'm going to tell you, when I set a new goal, it scares me. And there's parts of my mind that says, you know, forget it, Bob. You don't need to do this. You don't need the money. You don't need the aggravation. Why don't you take it easy, you know? And so we have all these thoughts come to our mind. You've got to kick those thoughts out of your mind. If what you're doing isn't constituting growth, if it isn't scaring you, you're going in the wrong direction. See, the beautiful truth is, it excites and scares you at the same time. 
It excites you because on a conscious level, this is what you want. And it scares you because on a subconscious level, you've never been there. You've moved into a foreign vibration. You're always moving into an area you have never been. You know, when you begin working toward the new goal, you're going to be looking outside of yourself for the resources that are required to get you there, and you're not going to find them. They will not be evident. They'll only come to you as you need them. And you'll have to have the faith and the understanding and the knowledge that everything you need is going to come as you need it. Remember in an earlier message, I talked about polarity, the good and the bad, the positive and the negative? Well, you know, there's only one problem in the entire world, and that's ignorance. Everywhere you go, all problems have as their foundation ignorance, simply not knowing. Now, the opposite of ignorance is knowledge. And I understand that all the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is 100% evenly present in all places at the same time. The answer to our questions is already here. So, I want you to look at this graphic now. Here you have the positive and the negative. You have the ignorance and the knowledge. Now, I want you to imagine an individual that has set the objective, they've set the goal, and they're looking outside of themselves, and they don't see what they need to get there. What's going to happen? Well, let's keep in mind that there's a power that's flowing into their consciousness. They can think anything they want. And they're thinking, I haven't got what I need to get there. And like that, doubt and worry come onto the screen of their consciousness. See, doubt and worry, they're both. It's a psychic disease. It's wrong thinking. But as we start to entertain doubt, and as we start to worry about what's going to happen, we internalize those negative concepts, and they set up the only emotional state they can set up, which is fear. Fear's a very destructive emotion. Now, understand whatever is impressed must be expressed. And you have originated a negative concept in doubt or worry, you've turned that over to the emotional mind, which causes fear, that moves you into a physical state, that is better known as anxiety. That's when the bottom body is just not vibrating in harmony with law. Now the anxiety is suppressed. People don't express anxiety, they suppress it. The suppression turns into depression, and the depression turns into dis-ease. Always hyphenate that word, don't just say disease. It's dis-ease, it's a body that's not at ease. And the disease, of course, turns to disintegration. See, there's a basic law of life that says create or disintegrate. If you're not going ahead, you're going backwards. That is a very basic law of life, to create or disintegrate. Now, that's in everything. Now, how do we get away from this negative flow, from the doubt, the worry, the anxiety, the suppression, depression? See, depression is anger turned inwards. That's really what it is. Well, we have to go on to the other side. We have to move over to the positive polarity. If you get over there, and you'll see that understanding comes from knowledge. What do we want to understand? We want to understand the laws of our being. We want to understand that even though we can't see it, it's here and it's coming. If we stay in the right vibration, we'll attract it. But there's only one way to develop understanding, and that's through study. It's the one thing that most people don't want to do. Now, there's many forms of study, but if you want to win, you've got to study. So we want to understand that everything we require is going to be delivered to us exactly at the right time. And we start to build a positive picture of the good that we desire in our mind, and then we get emotionally involved with that positive picture. Do you know what that does? That sets up a vibration that's more or less called faith. Faith is the ability to see the invisible, to believe in the incredible, and that will permit us to receive what the masses call impossible. It's the polar opposite to fear. And you see, the faith comes from understanding. I'm not talking about blind faith. That isn't worth it. First little bump in the road, boom, the faith is gone. I'm talking about faith based on understanding. That's what moves mountains. So we're working with understanding. That gives us a positive picture. We see the good that we desire before it even gets here. And then you get emotionally involved with that, that sets up the emotion of faith. Now the faith expresses itself on a physical level, not as anxiety, but as well-being. Well-being. Now the well-being is expressed. Have you ever said to anybody, hi, how are you today? And they look around and they say, I'm really excited. They don't do 
that. You see it, it's expressed. When the person's in a good vibration, the expression, the expression turns to acceleration. They pick up speed. They attract more good things to them. And you know why? Because they're at ease. They're calm. James Allen said, calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It's the result of long and patient effort in self-control. They're at ease. And that's what causes creation. And that's really what you're here for. You're here to create. I always say we're here to do God's work. Some would say, what's well, God's work? Well, God being the creator, creation would be God's work. And you and I were given creative faculties. And through the development of those creative faculties, we're doing God's work. We create, we get out, make things happen. Make certain that what you're making happen is big and beautiful. Don't mess around with little goals. Remember, ignorance, knowledge. We're all ignorant about certain things. I mean, that when it comes to baking a pie or tuning up a car, I plan to stay that way. But there's some things we should never be ignorant about, and that's how our marvelous mind works. It's the greatest gift you've got. You can do anything you want with it, but you've got to develop it. Watch this over and over again. It's the repetition. All of a sudden, whoa, hey, now I get it. Now I understand. And you will understand. And you'll live in freedom. It's the only way to be. If I want to be free, i got to be me. Not to me I think you think I should be. Not to me I think my kids think I should be. If I want to be free, I've got to be me. This is Bob Rocker. Thank you. We're now more than halfway through our Thinking in the Results program. And I trust that now you're starting to allow your thoughts to shift and inviting the change that you'd like to see. Right now, I'm actually guessing that you're pretty inspired and emotionally involved with the big goals that are really worthy of your time. When you are, and you take action towards those goals, you might just run straight smack into the terror barrier. I know I do all the time. If what you're doing isn't creating growth, if it isn't scaring you, you're probably going in the wrong direction. So what terror barrier is showing up for you? Embrace it. Get excited about it because it spells growth for you. Apply the lessons on facing your fears and learn how to move through them. Can you just imagine what the other side of fear looks like?